good day this is very important and i will share to you the importance of this troubleshooting this is the solenoid valves for our boiler when we test it it's okay it's normal same pressure but in our boiler sometimes there is a problem example when auto start it will flame failure or in operation there is a flame failure sometimes happens in two days or even three days but intermittent this is the main problem that i will share to you and very important this is the valves for example check manually using this solenoid coil supply for 220 you need to supply 220 and check for the leaking this is new one if you activate normally close going to we will open if you normally close we you if you will activate will get open there is a 220 that you need to supply so that it will open the valve or close the valve okay the first thing that we need to know if the valve is activating it's okay but the main that keep in mind that if that valve is opening it must be totally open if that if that diaphragm or the rubber on that on that valve is brittle that can cause a partial open or partially close you need to replace that one so that it won't happen to you or in your future job what happened to ours you need to change these valves this is very common that I'm keeping in my mind that if I have trouble with this one, I need to change the rubber rubber or diaphragm for these solenoid valves. Even if I have a new valves, I need to change this one. Because this is common that the rubber will get brittle or cropped. I hope this helps you a lot. If you change these rubbers or you have a new one, your, your boiler will operate smoothly okay this is the old one there is a crack and it is hard to open if the bulb is opening but it is partial to open it's because the rubber cannot move with its own maximum okay thank you i hope this video help you in your future job you learned from this video Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for more updates. Also follow us on Facebook Barco TV. Thanks for watching.